Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be discussing the absolute incredible cast reveal for One Piece Stampede, which is set to hit cinemas in Japan in August. And while there's still no word at this stage about an international release, we've still got plenty of reasons to be excited because looking at this cast list is just uh, incredible. I do want to say right at the outset though that there is one reason that we should probably temper and control our excitement with this mass of characters, but I will get to that when it comes to it. For now, let's take a look at who will be making an appearance in one Piece Stampede. So we're going to skip over the Straw Hats because, you know, that's a given. They're in all the films, all except for Jinbei. Ah, oh, poor guy. However, in the original trailer, we were also treated to the news that Trafalgar Law would be making his first cinematic appearance, but that turns out to be a mere tip of the iceberg, as the entirety of the worst generation is now set to appear in One Piece Stampede. That's right, Law, Killer, Kid, Jewelry, Bonnie, Capone Gang Beige, Basil Hawkins, Scratch Manapu, Mad Monk Rouge, and Diaz Drake. And all of a sudden, this film just got a hell of a lot bigger. I mean, if all of the members of the worst generation are present at the Pirate Expo, and they do have some decent reasoning as to why they may not be, then this film can just shut up and take all of my money. Just take my debit card. Here's the pin. Just go. We are far from done though, because we also have representation from the Seven Warlords. Now, Buggy was in the trailer, so we already know about him, as well as Alvida and Mr. Three, but also making their way into the film will be the Pirate Empress Boa Hancock and the world's greatest swordsman, Dracul Mihawk. Oh, and while we're talking about Mihawk, Hawk Perona will also be present. And the fact that she's in the film lends a lot more credibility to the idea that Mihawk may be physically present at the expo because Perona isn't a particularly well-known pirate and I don't think that a certain someone would go to great lengths to replicate her. At this pirate expo though, there will be a surprisingly large presence from the Marines, including Smoker and Toshigi who were revealed in the trailer, but we could very possibly be going all out here because Fleet Admiral Sakazuki is also on the cast list, along with Borsalino and Isho, better known as Kizaru and Fujitora. Now, one reason why we may want to calm ourselves down about this information is because of Film Z and Film Gold, both of which featured Sakazuki's appearance in a fairly boring and official manner. He definitely wasn't taking an active role, and while it's always cool to see him, I'm not getting my hopes up about he or the other admirals actually being at the expo just yet. Alongside them though, we have some other living legends confirmed for the film, Garp and Sengoku. Once again, they've had minor roles in films before, but it's always great to have them on screen, as well as Kobe and Helmeppo and even Hina. Although at the moment, there is no confirmation in regards to Django or Full Body to complete her comedy trio. And finally, for the Marines, we have a surprise contender being Sentamaru, which I really like because I feel like this guy has just kind of disappeared from the story completely. So it should be nice to see him back in some capacity, possibly even with some pacifista assistance as well. However, it's not just Marines, as the world government will be represented by Rob Lucci of CP0, a supremely cool character, but he had essentially nothing to do in Film Gold, except for a brief clash against Sabo, who speaking of will also be in One Piece Stampede alongside Koala. So who knows, maybe Sabo and Lucci can finish what they started in Film Gold and have something of an actual fight. But somehow that is still not the entire cast list because we have at least two members of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet being Cavendish and Bartolomeo confirmed for the film, which makes all of the sense in the world. Because like I think I said in my trailer breakdown, a convention is a natural place for a fanboy like Bartolomeo, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him cosplaying. But also breaking onto the scene is someone I am perpetually excited about, Sir Crocodile. One of my favorite characters, just period. So I'm really hoping that he makes more than just a cameo. Also, Wapol will be there. That's right, Wapol. The King of Black Drum. And I think it might be pretty funny if he'd actually been invited to the expo as a guest to meet his adoring fans. But not just him, but the ever polarizing Foxy will be storming into the film, which I'm pretty excited about, to be honest. I can imagine him using the expo to scout out any potential Davy backfights or even start one in the background while the actual events of the film are happening. Getting into some more prominent characters though, there are three listed as special guests, two of which we already know. That being the festival master Buena Vista and the alleged member of the Roger Pirates, Douglas Bullet. However, a new name has been thrown into the fray, a man called Douglas Moderate, who has probably the most neutral sounding name I have ever heard in my life. Other than that, we have absolutely no info on the guy just yet. And with that, we have but three revealed cast members left. Two of them are phenomenally huge figures. The first of which is the man with the highest known bounty in the series to date, Marshall D. Teach, representing the mighty Yonko. Furthermore, also confirmed to be making an appearance is the Pirate King himself, Goal D. Roger. Which you know is entirely expected given that Stampede seems to have quite a strong focus on the Roger Pirates. There is the, you know, slight problem of Roger being dead though, so other than a flashback, how exactly could he appear? Well, this brings us to the final character confirmed to be in the film thus far, and this is going to sound incredibly anticlimactic, I warn you now, but it's Anne. All right, who the hell is Anne? That is a very fair question. She is a non-canon character who appears in the One Piece Tokyo Tower live show, which you can find on YouTube if you're keen, but Anne essentially serves a very mechanical purpose 
purpose during the show, and it has to do with her devil fruit, the Bijo Bijo no Mi, which is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to create phantom projections of people. So during the Tokyo Tower show, Anne is basically the excuse to bring in a whole bunch of characters like Smoker, Evenkov, etc. And she is the sole reason why this cast list has begun to bother me. It's all well and good to be stating all of these names, but with Anne deliberately plonked in there, there's every chance that many of these huge names are just going to be illusions conjured by her devil fruit. I mean, I'd be shocked if she wasn't involved in the expo somehow, and her powers are used to make an illusion of Roger or something along those lines, which would be pretty cool. But sadly, the same could also be said of Blackbeard or Mihawk, the worst generation, and yeah. As much as I really want to be excited about the sheer stack of characters in this film, Anne being here takes a bit of that away. And I really hope I'm wrong about this speculation because it would be amazing to see all of these big names, even if they only made minor cameo appearances. And the last thing I'll say is that this isn't even the end of the cast list. The article ends with the very promising and more, meaning that, you know, we have quite a lot more to look forward to, especially in regards to the more minor characters who wouldn't necessarily get their own billing on a list like this, like all of the Easter egg characters in film Gold, for example. But look, at the moment, One Piece Stampede is still looking pretty damn hype, even with Anne and even if everyone else is an illusion. I still love the concept and I cannot wait to see it. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also, do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on this massive cast list for One Piece Stampede. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.